When does implantation bleeding occur in the menstrual cycle? Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we're going to talk about a very specific part of the menstrual cycle that happens during early pregnancy. This is known as implantation bleeding. We'll discuss when this occurs, what it looks like, and how it's different from regular menstrual bleeding. What is implantation bleeding? Implantation bleeding is a form of light bleeding or spotting that can occur in a woman's menstrual cycle. This bleeding is not part of a regular menstrual period, but is instead associated with the early stages of pregnancy. It's caused by the process of the fertilized egg, or embryo, attaching itself to the lining of the uterus. When does implantation bleeding occur? The timing of implantation bleeding can vary, but it typically occurs about 10 to 14 days after conception. This is around the time when you would normally expect your next menstrual period. However, not every woman experiences implantation bleeding, so its absence doesn't necessarily mean that you're not pregnant. How is implantation bleeding different from a normal period? Implantation bleeding is typically much lighter than a normal menstrual period, and it may be accompanied by other early signs of pregnancy such as mild cramping, mood swings, or increased body temperature. The blood from implantation bleeding can be pinkish or brownish, and there's usually less of it compared to a normal period. It's important to note that if you're experiencing heavy bleeding or severe pain, it's a good idea to consult a healthcare professional as this could be a sign of an issue that needs medical attention. In summary, implantation bleeding is a potential early sign of pregnancy that occurs when the embryo implants itself into the uterine wall, typically happening 10 to 14 days after conception. It's typically lighter and shorter than a normal period and may be accompanied by other early pregnancy symptoms. As always, if you have any concerns about bleeding during pregnancy, be sure to consult with a healthcare professional. We hope this video has helped you better understand implantation bleeding and when it occurs. Thanks for watching.